The next tips we're going to give you is pedestrian and pelican crossings. They are the most common crossings you're going to come across. We're going to advise you on how to approach them, how to exit them, your observations, and pay in particular attention to pedestrians. Right. Now we're approaching a pelican crossing which is fairly distinctive with its flashing amber lights and road markings. Remember, the pedestrian always has red of white on this. So all we do is we see a pedestrian crossing which they are, we slow down, we break, we break, we break, and we give the pedestrian full access. Also check in your mirrors to make sure there's no one too close behind. We wait until the pedestrian is fully off the road and only then can we continue. We're now approaching the pedestrian crossing, the most common form of crossing, green, amber and red lights. Once the light goes red, we must stop. Amber up and keep looking left and right for pedestrians. Once the light goes amber, if there's nobody crossing, we can continue if there is somebody crossing, pedestrians still have right of way. And the pedestrians must be fully off the crossing before we continue. The difference between a pelican crossing and a pedestrian crossing, most pedestrian crossings are on main streets where you're going to see where they have a button to press and there's going to be three colours, green, amber and red. We always stop on the red. Now with the ambers concerned, we do move only when there's pedestrians not entering the crossing. With the pelican crossings concerned, there's always two flashing amber lights. We must stop and give way to pedestrians. They don't need to press a button. As soon as they approach it, they have right of way and we must give them right of way. 